morning or maybe good afternoon. It might be getting close. I don't know. So I've had a day off today and it's been a long time since I had a day off. That's a fib. I had Wednesday off and I spent it with my sweetheart and we did yard work and all kinds of, I did all kinds of running around. Anyway, it was a day off, but we spent it working and it was very satisfying, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Update. So I have reached over 10,000 views and I was very, very excited about that because I thought that that was when YouTube would start paying you, but no. I have a thousand subscribers now and uh, they don't assess you until you've got 4,000 hours, 4,000 hours in views over the last 12 months. I'm like, where have I been? Whatever, it doesn't matter. If it happens, it happens and I'll be happy to take the pennies from the sponsors anyway. So, uh, it's been a while. It's been a little while since I've done an update. I should be doing other things today. Okay. Let that go. So it's been a little while since I've done an update. <clears throat> um, I have done hardly any tarot readings in ages. So I was in the last Heronia Players uh, theater production that happened. And I didn't have a very big role, but it still needed me to be there all the time. And that I just didn't do a whole lot of bookings, maybe because I didn't do a whole lot of marketing either. Um, but anyway, that's been done now for, I want to say two weeks, maybe at this point, two and a half weeks. Time is hard. And mostly what I find that I'm doing is a lot of reflexology. So that's like foot acupressure that, um, <clears throat> Oh, words are hard too. Foot acupressure that basically when you thumb walk along the feet, it uh, reacts with your whole entire body. It gives your brains lovely, your brains. Your brain signals that it's okay to relax. It's safe to repair. Anyway, been doing a lot of that, been doing a lot of Reiki on its own, which is interesting because normally the Reiki just happens when I'm doing reflexology. Like at the same time. So anyway, I just stuff from the thrift store recently, which I found interesting because this stuff doesn't, uh, new age and new thinking books don't often come in to the thrift store. So I brought some books up to the tub with me to show ya. Let's see. So this book is called The Power of Prayer. Um, and you know what, I wasn't familiar with it, but it caught my eye. And also because it had a, um, like a recommendation quote on the front from Neil Donald Walsh, who is the author of the Conversations with God stuff. And so, um, I thought it'd be interesting to read, even though it, you know, it, I'm not sure if it has a religious, um, slant on it. I'm guessing yes, but it might not. Um, I thought it'd be interesting and it popped out at me and sometimes that's the way these things work. There might be one little nugget in this book for me and, and that will, it'll give me my aha moment. What else did I bring in here? Oh, okay. I totally already have a copy of this. But Ask and It Is Given, uh, Esther and Jerry Hicks came in. And it came in, it's not the version with the disc in it. Some of these versions of this book, I guess newer versions of this book had the disc in it. This has been read and loved and it's got little dog-eared corners on it. And that makes me happy because I am totally guilty of doing this thing. So I figure it... When I am doing readings or even when people come, you know, words come out during reflexology where people need that kind of spiritual advice or advice, I will often refer to uh, Abraham Esther Hicks um, videos on YouTube if people are looking for a way to raise their vibration and the idea of getting on the high flying disc and all that stuff. I use this quite a bit. Um, so anyway, that came in and I thought, well, there must be something in it for me. I'm not quite sure where my version went. I may have given it away where my, my copy went because I do that too. Um, anyway, that came into the thrift store and I found that interesting. Okay. So then some other stuff came into the thrift store that really wasn't related. Calligraphy, calligraphic ornaments. So I've, 
I picked this up because I feel like this might mean there's some painting in my future or wood burning that needs to be done. That's nice, some empty pages. Anyway. And then the other thing that came to the thrift store that really doesn't mean too much, I don't think, but sometimes these things do. There might there's something in this for me. Thomas Hardy, Far From the Matting Crowd. So it's a novel. Uh, 1974. This, I believe, is a 1975 version of the book or printing of the book. Anyway, I've heard Far From the Matting Crowd referred to um, in other things, and I, oh, I can't remember what. However, um, I'm going to read it and, and enjoy it. I'm sure of it. There's something in here for me. So the thing that's been happening is I'm taking a course for hand reflexology to add to the foot reflexology that I already do, mainly because I like to learn. And also because, uh, there are some clients, potential clients that I can see that aren't interested in having me touch their feet, but would be totally open to having me touch their hands. So I've been reviewing my hand reflexology. It is a uh, Mildred Carter and Tammy Weber. Um, I've had this for a long time and I probably also picked this up at the thrift store or at a thrift store. It might've been a Value Village or Goodwill when we had those. Um, this is a copyright 2000 book which is interesting to me because so much of the stuff that I have found for reflexology is older. It's much older on my shelves. Okay, so my office is kind of messy right now. I've got more furniture in it than I'm comfortable with. I, I'd like a, a more open space, but I'm still I'm waiting for some shelves to be built. I think the issue is when you have a handyman for a sweetheart and that's what he does for a living, then none of your projects get done. That's a fib. Again, on Wednesday, we did an awful lot of work outside. So, um, hang on, time out. Ah, tea. So, I'm going to show you my cup. It says, Witch's Brew Coffee House, and a friend of mine got it for me when they were in Alberta, I believe. She works out west sometimes. Anyway, that's where I've been. That's a little update. I got more stories to share. Mostly, I was just looking for an excuse to get in the bathroom, I think. That's a little bit of the update. All I'm doing is wanting to be outside and fixing my yard and planting food and, and all that good stuff. And, uh... It's interesting that I haven't had very many tarot readings lately, although I'm getting lots of messages for me. Nobody's been coming for their own messages. Maybe everybody else just wants to be outside too. All right, that's the update.